My name is Betty Morton. I'm a widow. My husband passed away two years ago, and I've continued to live in the house. And it's a full-time job almost, uh, keeping the house, uh, and especially because I have grandchildren that come in frequently, and children, and so I love being there for them. Uh, I have five children and 11 grandchildren. We had a farm about an hour from Houston, and we went frequently. And uh, one weekend we were there, and I was walking from one house to the other, and I just couldn't make it. And so I sat down on the ground and caught my breath. And after a few minutes, I was able to kind of crawl into the uh, original house and stretch out on the sofa. And I realized that there was something amiss and that the next morning when I got back to Houston, I should go see my internist. And so when I got there, he said, Ms. Morton, your heart is beating 165 times a minute and I don't want you to leave the office except to go to the hospital. And they called it atrial fibrillation. And I didn't even know that phrase until I started reading up. And uh, they also uh, did an echocardiogram, which I had never had, and I learned a lot from that. After all the tests, Dr. Mann came in and said, you not only have atrial fibrillation, but you have a very low ejection fraction. And I said, what is that? I think that episode at the farm was about 10 years ago. And uh, ever since then, I've been under the care of a cardiologist. And I've learned so much that I realize that other people that even have anything slightly wrong with their heart should immediately start reading books and getting lots of information. That is the most important thing to do. And every book starts out telling you, do not smoke and do not be overweight. Everybody that has a heart problem should address those two things first. Dr. Meyer has gotten me to go ride a bicycle. She said, try it. <laughs> so I did, and I ride the bicycle for 30 minutes. So you can do things you don't even think you're going to do to help yourself. Uh, the diet for heart is fresh vegetables, uh, fresh fruit, uh, lots of greens, and I love all that. But then if you start taking Coumadin, to, you really have to be on a diet as far as greens are not so good if you eat too many, and raw things are not so good. So I had to teach myself how to eat again and, and yet follow two completely different diets. And that's been hard for me because we're a cooking family, <laughs> and especially foods that aren't so good for you. But uh, I've, I've tried pretty hard to do it. I'm 82, <laughs> and uh, I'd say the last two years, uh, especially since my husband passed away, um, I've slowed down a, a little bit and do think about my illness more and tell other people if they would start maybe a little earlier in thinking about it that they could do things that would help. And there's certainly nothing dramatic about my story. It's just that you can have a wonderful life and still have a few health problems. Do the that I'm